Hey, San Antonio, Raul Jimenez here with the Schrader Group, here with our local expert, Sherby Ortiz with Thrive Mortgage. Uh, we've get a lot of you know miscommunication out here in the market. Everyone watches the news and is like, oh, the Fed is raising interest rates and all these things are happening. Uh, but the truth is the Fed doesn't dictate the interest rates primarily. It's dictated through the bond market, correct? That's exactly right. There's so many changing moving parts uh, into this. Think of this as really like a, you know, a car. You've got the engine, you've got the transmission, and so many parts that actually make up the economy of what we're doing today from the GDP, growth of domestic product to people buying and so forth. But at the same time, it's the bond market. And so what the bond market does is that it actually dictates what investors are buying these notes for on a particular mortgage, how much they're buying it for, when they're buying it for, if they're buying them at the same time. And so it's got this pendulum effect between the two. And it's got sometimes a knee jerk reaction as to where the market is going, this expenditures, the, of course, the, the comfort of, of the consumer buying something in the, in the current market. And at the same time, the, the supply and the demand, right? right? And so if you've got a high demand of products and services that are not available out there, we're going again into this panel of economics of, you know, a, a, a swing on knee jerk reaction, so to speak, right? So. If there aren't enough supplies, then yes, now we're seeing we're going to have to slow down the demand by increasing prices, by increasing the interest rates and everything else to slow that down. Right now, that's that's what is actually moving forward with the inflation, right? We're, you know, 9% inflation today at this date. <laughs> uh, we're at a 9% inflation. And so to bring that down, yes, you know, rates have gone up. Feds have brought up the interest rates. You're starting to see the food industry going up and everything else. So it's interesting how really something as simple as the bond market can have also and the, and the insurance to make purchases nowadays can have a big segment in the market. Interest rates currently for a prime, you know, uh, uh, client, what, what would be a typical interest rate right now? You know, right now the rates are... They're swiveling somewhere between, you know, between the fives and the five and a halves, you know, closer to the to the sixes. You've seen some weeks is changing daily. Depends mm -hmm. really what the news come out. Right. Uh, but prime really nowadays in this May, uh, we're looking into the five and a halves. Five and a halves. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you said that the rates change. And I, of course, I know that the market is very volatile mm -hmm. and what's today might not be tomorrow. Right. Um, and, and I think that all kind of speeds into what should we expect? I mean, We've been spoiled on low interest rates for many, many years. You know, after we got out of the 08, 09 meltdown, you know, they've been in the threes, the fours, even in the twos a couple years back, or not even that far back. Um, historically, we where are we sitting? I mean, I know that we're pretty much at par of on, on average of where we're supposed to be. Uh, but in the last 30 years, could you kind of touch base on where we're at? Sure. I don't have a crystal ball, but I can tell you based on history is we're starting to see this inverted curve, which means that when you actually start seeing this, this curve meet the cross of a, another curve that is going up, typically it's starting to shift from inflation to recession. Uh, once that starts happening, you start seeing a shift as well on the rates. Uh, there's a possibility, of course, for rates going down. Uh, if presidency changes here in the next couple of years as well, you can see an effect on that also. But the, the way the rates are moving forward now, it's, it is still trying to fix that inflation curve. Mm -hmm. uh, would it be going up in the, in the next year or so? Possibly. Uh, is it going to be like it was in 1980? Definitely not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know, 13s and 14s. I don't percent, see that. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, but enough to actually you know correct yourself. Uh, you know, should you wait and see what rates going to look like a year from now before you buy a home? No. Uh, right. And so because then you got the other aspect of the values of the homes are going up as Tina well. Rice, right. That's right. Got you. Now, uh, some creative financing is what we're calling it. You know, we haven't seen arms in the market in a while. Uh, are y'all starting to see some two one buy downs and, and trying to get them into that cheaper price point today? And then maybe 365 days later, maybe even two years later, refi out of that program. That way they're able to get a better rate if the rates do start to trend downwards. Absolutely. So I'm seeing that more in a jumbo market, which means that it's it's a higher purchase price than your you know traditional conventional loan mm -hmm. uh, purchase price and an FHA loan 
So those purchase uh, in the jumbo market, they are because even the armories are actually becoming a little bit more creative with their respective. Some are actually fixed for 10 years. Right, I saw that. Uh, some are fixed for seven years, which give them flexibility to say, should I stay, should I go or refinance again, but still be able to keep a good lower payment uh, for those particular jumbo purchases. Wow, well, that's great insight. Thank you, San Antonio. We appreciate you. Uh, this is just a little bit of insight of what the market is, how it kind of builds up with the interest rates and how that's kind of justified on the outside market, what you're paying at the very end of the day. Uh, but we're very creative over here trying to find ways to save you money. Anything we can do to help you, please reach out. Uh, the Schrader Group is always on call for you guys. Sherry's here with us as well. Anything we can do, God bless and have a good day.